took several days of trying, but the final piece of the St. Joseph's Hospital finally came down just before 6 o'clock tonight. Fox 55 Stephen Walker was there to capture the moment, where he also spoke with a mother and daughter with close ties to the demolished downtown hospital. After days of waiting, the final piece of St. Joseph's finally came down. Tammy Sprunger spent each day at her mother's waiting for this moment. It'll just be sad. I'll have a few days of memories, of good memories, and then it'll be time to just move on to the next. <laughs> Sprunger worked in the hospital for 30 years. Her mother, Sharon Scroggin, was born there. She moved into the house across the street in 1989 and opened up an antique shop. She was out front watching every day until the building finally fell. It was very spectacular seeing that go down. It was so so big and so powerful, and it just came down so easy, like a big giant, I guess you'd say. And um, I'm happy, sad. I was, I've lost a good friend. Crews took the other sections of the hospital down fairly easily, but the last tower was proving to be a tougher challenge. After days of attempting to take down the final tower of St. Joseph's Hospital, the crew is battling beams that wouldn't budge and cables snapping during the process. Once the first beam collapsed, it took all of about 10 seconds until the demolition was complete. And for people like Sharon and Tammy watching day after day close by, they were happy that the job was finally finished, but they were sad to see the building go. Tough old building. It did not want to come down. <laughs> So yeah, it was it was hard to watch, but it's it's okay now. Scroggum collected souvenirs from the demolition and is already looking to what's next. I have about four bricks. I'd like to have more, but I've got four at least. And uh, we are going to put a patio in out here, and I'd like to put a plaque on them. And although the building is gone, Scroggum says the memories will last forever. In Fort Wayne, Stephen Walker, Fox 55 News. A yeah, great story seeing that finally come down today. Crews will now have until January 1st to remove every one of those last bricks from the lot.